Ooh, okay. What the? Orange he Mountain said y'all moves? ain't gonna ever do it again. <laughs> I like how you have the emoji eyes. Right. Hmm. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where I react to everything I've never seen. And today, it's time to put on those spy goggles for some more Agent Ali. Last time we left off, man, we saw a pretty good episode where we got a chance to see our new family member and companion, man. And that is this cat who, um,. He kind of brought back some nostalgic memories to Ali. You know, Ali thought this was his cat, Labu, who went missing after his mother's passing, you know. So it was a very cool episode, man. And this cat is named Komod, which the episode was entitled. So that was interesting. But there was one particular thing about this cat that kind of makes him different from any other cat. It is literally a cat burglar and it was tasked with stealing the iris. You know, um, apparently this guy by the name of Brother Bear, who's basically the big brother of Koming, the little guy who has a big personality. Uh, yeah, he had uh, basically trained these cats that were, I guess, part of some kind of secret facility that did experiments on animals. He trained all these cats to steal stuff and in order to kind of strike fear into them and make them do his bidding he put these shot collars on them so you know they basically had no choice they were kind of being abused and i'm surprised they showed this up on a kid's programming because that's something that we don't see but then i had to remind myself that this was done in malaysia and i'm pretty sure the censorship regulations are a lot different so yeah but yeah this cat you know um it, it runs around the house with ollie and stuff like that you know after he saved it and it's a pretty feisty cat at first you know it likes to scratch at you when he don't want you to touch him and stuff but eventually he kind of grew uh to like ollie and ollie was able to give him a bath because i was a little bit confused at first when i saw the color of this cat because uh i saw the opening and i saw a cat up in that but it had like a white coat with a few black spots and uh after ollie gave this cat a bath that's what it had so these cats are one and the same you know i uh, kind of wish i didn't watch that because i wanted to be surprised of him having a sidekick feline that's able to do all these cool things you know so this cat is very capable and um later on after they discovered the cat stole the iris they go and discover that it was brother bear and his little brother ko ming that were responsible for it and they try to put a stop to him but they're ca caught and ali and all uh, the game end up getting held captive but they're able to escape because of the cat you know and i like the way they have that you know that's going to be a cool dynamic to see how him and the cat work in tangent with one another so yeah but yeah that was pretty much it for that one man i'm enjoying the series so far I can't wait to see what else is in star and I, I also can't wait to see the animation improve too man um even though we haven't really posted these on youtube yet i hope by the time we do you guys grow to enjoy them and you continue to rock out with your boy because i'm really having fun with this shit and i'm liking it so let's go ahead and see what this next episode we're talking about this is gonna be episode five titled blueprint so they're gonna have jay-z up in this episode yeah you know what i'm saying i'm hanging out my boy agent ali <laughs> oh let's do this Oh shit! Uh oh, it's Dose and Trey Songs. I know you trying to holler at some. Got my nigga over here. I love this guy. <laughs> nice. This is a cool dynamic right here. Speed and weight. Yeah, you already know what it is, that poke game. Okay, Blockbuster, let's see what you got. Rematch. Come on, up. <laughs> He's too thorough, man. Oh, shit, come on, Unk. Meanwhile, in Lazy Town... Komod has a new bowl, but he refuses to eat out of it because he thinks he's a shit. So let's disturb our owner. Damn. I tried to wake you up and tell me that you gave me this bullshit bowl. Why does that look like Frieza from Dragon Ball Z over there on the decal 
sticker. Itu, kau dah siap kerja sekolah semalam? Belum, tapi hantar esok kan? Oh, oh. tapi aku dah siap. Who gives a shit? Oh. Man dork. Ali, tak payah tanya pun dah tahu. This guy must think he the shit or something. Now that's cool. <laughs> Bro, why would you do that? Oh, this is gonna get you in good with the bitches. Come on, come on, use the stealth. <laughs> oh, he's in the platform. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, that's a girl? I thought it was a boy cat. Come on, come on now. Be more distinguished than that. <laughs> Bruh. Wow. Man, Komai is trying to get my man clapped. Look at these niggas. Really? You got outran by this dude? Yeah, step in there. Wow. Get out of my face. Bye, Alicia. Hell no, that cat ain't finna let you watch her. What was that? Is that uncle? What's wrong with this nigga? Really? Bro, that's not even an African hissing cockroach and you were acting like a little biatch. There you go. What if that's a spy roach though? She is over it. Yeah, these nuts or days nuts. Apa yang sedang berlaku? Tak ada apa-apa yang penting, General. Oh, orang ni. We got Dookie and Trey songs. Oh wow, that man was violating one of the drones. Internal. Two. What you talk about, bro? Where does this man get all his suckers from? Does he have like an unlimited supply? Bruh. <laughs> Oh shit, watch out! She's getting ready to poke you in the ass. There you go. Nah, you could have easily avoided this dude. <gasps> no! Don't y'all have some kind of night vision contacts? Oh shit. <gasps> watch out! This dude should be easy to stop. He's slow. He's a wannabe Jax.
Wow. Boom. Watch out. <laughs> oh, wow, it has gravitational pull. Yeah, what's going on here, man? I got a feeling it's the redhead doctor right there. You got something you want to tell us, bitch? Who is it? Oh, shit. Come on, come on. The question is, why do y'all have roaches up in this top secret facility? It's a spy roach. It's gotta be a spy roach. Exactly. Come on now. Jenny need to come clean. <laughs> really? We got this. Uh oh. That's a lot of man to scan. Nice. <laughs> oh, arm shields. Right where we want it. Got the real deal. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. Hurry up. There we go. Watch out now. Come on, bro. You idiot. Kabloom. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, Alicia. You don't get your fake ass cold Leoko looking self. It's a dud. <laughs> Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Put them paws on them. Ooh, now that's cool. Meow meow, bitch. Oh shit, we running low on battery life, bro. Then you need to get in shape. There you go. <laughs> right up in this head piece. Get your little ass back here. Turn you to a brisket sandwich. Oh shit. I'm getting tired of this bitch in these ink pens. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Nice. This is all this man has. He's been spamming that same move. There you go. Time for some trusty feline power. <laughs> you go, Chomot. Yeah, it's time to get some get back. Let's go, Reezus. Bitch. <laughs> 1 800 collect, motherfucker. This bitch just hit me with a fucking ring pop. That's right. Bruh. Let her know. Yeah, it might be halfway true. 
even though I did most of the work. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck that roach even got up in there, though. <sighs> really? We have to really <laughs> look at something to explain that? <laughs> oh, this teacher is abusive yet awesome. Hey. The fuck? Oh no! Nigga. So you about to feel the rap of her hot job. Ooh. What the fuck? What is uncle doing, man? No, Bakar, what is this? Yo, what's Uncle Bakar up to, yo? I, I thought he was on the good team, man. He must be one of Lhasa's finest and the most trusted out of the group. And the greasiest. But guys, that was episode 5 titled Blueprint, man. It seems like Dose and Trace are doing whatever they can to get their hands on the Blueprint so they can get their own Iris if they can. You know, if they, they can. Because it seems like if they can just get their own iris on a capable person they ain't gotta worry about nothing because ollie he's still wet behind the ears he's a little ditzy and clumsy and stuff so it would be nothing for them to just make their own and i'm pretty sure though she would be fully capable of utilizing that thing and she'll be just as deadly with it i like that we got a chance to see my man rizwan up in the mix uh, I really loved him the first time they showed him because he's just such a cool, thorough agent, you know, especially with his abilities of immobilizing people by hitting them with those psionic pressure points or whatever you want to call them shit. So I don't know what exactly they are. I just call them psionic because it sounds cool and unique. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know, though, man. Like, Unk, he owned some. I don't know if it's just like a... A duplicate of Unk, like somebody probably just cloned themselves with a hologram to make him look like Unk, but it's something going on with that because he got both of the little um, cryptic things and ain't no telling what he gonna do with them. Overall, I give that episode an A plus, man. It was really good. It was fun. The action was on point, and it seems like the CGI is getting better too. Is the CGI getting better to you guys, or am I just tripping? Let me know. But anyways, we are gonna keep on moving to this next episode, man. This is gonna be called Rise Up. So let's get it. Okay. Like the city from the Lorax. What is it, a Mountain Dew truck? Dr. Tom. Dr. Tom. Scientist genius who got his mind fucking controlled. Okay. Like Guillermo del Toro's little brother. Ain't that uh, Ali's dad? Oh, wow, this nigga. No, you wouldn't have. These guys are so incompetent, they're gonna let this sleaze ball get out somehow. Duracell. <laughs> so this man's just been stealing batteries to power up his little sick. Oh, or make a mind control device again. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I got a lot of ass to get. Mission Bang Kit. There you go. You better step on it. But those shoes are so fucking cool. I wish they could sell those. Have they sold those in Malaysia yet? Oh, 
Come on. Come on, man. It's a mind matter thing, bro. Use the sketchers. I ain't nothing wrong with them shoes. Hmm. Alright, we got you these shoes that you don't even have to tie up. At least you can do is learn how to use them. Relax, don't do it when you want to go through it. There you go. You played those platforming games before. Uh. All right, man. Try not to fail this time. You've been doing a lot of that. I know it. I knew it. Nothing to see here. Go ahead and show him. Damn overachiever. <laughs> Without the boots, okay. <laughs> Can you imagine how many ninja warriors this girl could win? Yeah, just eat my food, nigga. My little nuggets on a stick. Uh. Okay, this nigga think he Magneto now. <laughs> so it's like he has electromagnetic waves or something he can use to lift people up. Man, it's too soon for this jerk to be coming back. Oh, hell no. Bro, it's only been three episodes ago. Almighty push. This thing is going to be under some kind of mind control. Aww. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let me guess, you already shit yourself and you need the diaper change. Man, this dude is trying to break a record on the game, man. You gotta be good at something, man. You gotta know smart, you ain't physically good at nothing. Aw. Oh. Bruh. No, not my quadruple meat stacker 5000. Really? Yeah. Who is that? Oh, is that Ali's mom? <laughs> oh no. Whoop his ass. Okay, so that moral of the story is he keeps getting back up every time he gets knocked down. At this point, you're gonna lose weight. Whew. Damn. 
That's right. Beraninya Mama. Hmm, betul. Dia lah yang tolong buatkan aku sedar dan berubah. Jadi kau pun kena berubah. See, the reason why I focused on my upper body and neglected my legs. Tapi... Stop being smart. Who am I gonna slap? <laughs> it's like the, the rapper logic has pretty much lobotomized everybody and made them little babies. Come on now. Yeah. So this nigga compromised the shit anyway. Yeah, controlling people's minds against their will. Oh wow. Bro, this ain't gonna go how you want. So at the end of the day, we're gonna fucking wipe your brain. He's like, ooh, can I pet it? <laughs> really? Alright, man. You know what to do. <gasps> Shit. Hi, Ermac. Oh no. There you go. Aerial assault, bitch. And that was a good kick. Don't force choke him. Damn. Anakin. Thought I was going for a second. What are you gonna make a furniture transformer or a furniture ball? Give me your energy. Uh huh. You ain't gonna be able to focus all this shit. Coming at you from all sides, man. Where's the cat? <laughs> Did somebody say scratch and sniff? Bitch! Sure, you okay. <laughs> there. Hmm. Hope that nigga got dental insurance. Hey, I don't owe you shit. Oh, tak apa. Jatuh skuter tadi. Lah, lain kali hati-hati 
I'm gonna make you your favorite sandwich. I promise I didn't put any laxatives up in this. It's always nice getting heartfelt moments like this. Bruh. Wow. Okay, you're in the right place. You can be working for them now. Oh shit, Dr. Claw. Hey. You learn how to use the shoes yet, man? The arrow boots. There you go. My nigga doing it, man. He coming up in the world. But y'all, that was episode six titled Rise Up. Literally, that's what my man Ali had to do. He had to rise to the occasion with his arrow boots, which are some of the coolest looking boots I've ever seen, man. Them mugs look like they need to be on some kind of like shoe store site. They're like, I need to find them. I'm probably going to look it up after we get finished with this, man, because... The styles in this show, they, they are very unique, you know, they're, they're, it's almost like they're on the same level of Pixar, which is no surprise as to why Disney picked this show up and put it on Disney Plus, only to make it unavailable and hard to find. But that's besides the point. Yeah, I really like that. I like how we always get these like uh, little things put in that kind of like foreshadow certain events that are going to happen later on in the episode, because when we see Ollie struggling with the boots, we're wondering, okay, is this going to be something he's going to have to utilize later on? And that's most certainly what he did do up in this, you know, going up against Dr. Aaron, who basically has a vendetta against all the top scientists, head hachos out there, you know, especially Dr. Wong, who made him look like a fool after they got the mind control shit off of him. But that guy right there, he's very cunning. I'm just surprised that we uh, saw him again so soon. Because I thought after that, you know, after they rescued Dr. Tong or Dr. Wong, whatever you call him, it was going to be over. But yet here he is again, like four episodes later, and he's actually more capable. You know, he's very like inventive. He can make things on the fly and he's capable of escaping this highly guarded prison. So that was cool seeing him come out and just recap it. I wasn't sure how they were going to beat him. I just knew that they were going to have to overwhelm him, you know. And uh, I got a chance to see uh, Chomot do that, you know, help out with that. So, yeah, I'm still a little bit uh, confused on why they didn't show uh, Bakar um, or address the situation with Bakar going into that secret base or lair with those two artifacts, which hold the blueprints. But I guess that's something we're going to have to wait and see later, you know, see him answer that. Overall, I give this episode an A+. Plus. Really enjoyed myself with this one. It's always good to see how they're going to overcome these villains that seem like they're unstoppable, you know, and overcome the odds. And this one right here seemed like one of those dire situations where Ali had to step up because his daddy's life was in danger, or at least his mind was. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always, I have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you. If there was anything that I may have missed or overlooked or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below, and I promise I will get back to you. But anyways, this is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer. We ain't seen the reactions. I'll catch you guys on the next reaction to Agent Ali. Peace!